Hey YouTube, Jeff checking in. Hope you are, are well. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a Microstock uh, type video and so I wanted to do a quick video tonight uh, going over one of the tools that I think every Microstocker needs to have. Now there are a couple of obvious ones, uh, camera, maybe a computer, internet, but something that I think a lot of people overlook and I think are vital to being successful at Microstock and I'm going to show you an example of how uh, this can really affect your ability to sell images and I'm going to show you an example using my own photographs because I started on Microstock prior to calibrating my monitor hint hint then I got the right product calibrated my monitor and my photos were totally different so let's talk about that number one tool and I said calibration and that's right I'm talking about the type of equipment necessary to properly calibrate a monitor. Now I use the Spider 5 Pro with my iMac, there are a number of other tools, but it's key to putting together a successful image. Now I do hear a lot of people say that uh, calibrating your monitor doesn't really matter, in part because you don't know how uh, people on the other side of the internet that are looking at your images um, how they have their ma their monitor set up, whether they're calibrating, whether they're looking at the th same thing you are. And that's all true. However, many of the buyers of the images for Microstock are going to be graphic designers. Uh, they're going to be pros that have uh, equipment that works. And you need to think about them uh, first and foremost, uh, as opposed to a random person that just has a PC that's eight years old in their basement. Um, with a 15 year old ViewSonic. That's not your market and that's that's not the client that's buying your images. So you need to have um, images that are um, properly processed. You can't just get by with Lightroom or uh, Capture One or some other product. You need a calibrated monitor. And, uh, and um, I think it's vital and it changed the way my images sold. And so I'm gonna just take you to the computer now and I'm gonna give you an example of um, how bad I was doing and uh, you know I'm <laughs> being totally honest taking my pants down here but I was bad and uh, yeah you'll see so let's go to the computer right now and I'll show you what I mean okay so here we are on the computer so what I want to show you is a series of four images um, it's actually two images one process before I calibrated monitor and then another showing the images that I processed after calibrating. And then I'm going to show you another example of an image processed prior to calibrating and then that same image processed again once my image was calibrated. Now these, both of the images I'm going to show you were uh, taken on the same night, just uh, probably about a half an hour apart. And one of the reasons why I wanted to show you these specific images is because uh, the Calgary Skyline photos that I'm going to show have done pretty well on Microstock. I think if I could, I haven't added it up, but I would suspect that the two images combined are probably, have generated maybe uh, two, two to 3,000 in income. And so um, they were important images to me. And um, in that, and, and for that reason, I think they make great examples of you know, what you can do when your images are uh, properly processed. And proper processing, like I said, isn't just in Lightroom. It's also uh, with a properly calibrated monitor. So uh, let's just get into it. So the first one, the first one I'm showing you right here is the uh, original image that I uploaded onto Shutterstock. You can see that it was accepted and um, there it is, and I, I mostly want you to look at the, the how dark the image is. My monitor must have been set so that I was seeing things um, in, a, in a way that was, on my monitor, way brighter than they actually were. And um, I started to suspect that this was the case, and what I did was um, I went into the Apple Store and I looked up my uh, Shutterstock account on on one of the computers in the Apple Store, and I was I was shocked at how dark the images were. So 
I tried manually calibrating, but you know, that was kind of a waste of time and pretty tough. Um, maybe I just don't have the eye or the patience, but so what I did was this was back when I was using a PC. I got a VSonic or sorry, a, I got a Spider 4 Pro and uh, calibrated my monitor at that point. And this is uh, what I was able to get out of the exact same Im image and re-upload it um, after calibrating my monitor. So this one, um, yeah, you can see the the brightness of the overall image is much higher. Um, it's, it's just a totally different image. You probably wouldn't even suspect that it was taken at the same time, or it's the same photo, uh, just processed differently. Uh, so this 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 picture here is probably my second um, best-selling image, and it goes without saying that uh, this one it it might have sold one once or twice. Me, you know, maybe I made seventy cents off of it, um, you know, but this one made well over a thousand so the properly calibrated monitor uh it's just it does wonders and so i'll just show you again on a couple more images here that i've pulled up and got ready so this this next one i'm going to show you is taken at this on the same evening just a little bit earlier in time so uh, less of a night shot and more of a, a sunset shot and here it is so uh, yeah, you can see how flat and uh, underexposed the processing works at, or looks on this image. And I, this, this, the lighting under the bridge against the dark background, it's, you know, um, it's just too dark. It's, it's not, it's not usable for really for anything um, in the, in the state that it is. And so, yeah, like I said, once I realized that I was, um, processing really really dark and uh, I was able to turn it into this image and so looking back I probably think this is heavily over processed and uh, you know I might go back and fix it up again just because my editing style has changed over time but I think the point is well made that um, the image is actually true to the to the color at least as far as the the exposure goes uh, to the scene that I was seeing and at this brightness level it's actually a usable image you know forget the over processing in the sky and the, and the lighting on the bridge aside um, it's much more of a a saleable image than than this one is you can just it's just so dark and so unusual and and like I said I I. I think that the the amount of revenue that I made on Microstock um, jumped way up after I actually took the time and the minimal investment uh, necessary uh, to purchase a proper calibration tool to get my monitor going. And you know, this isn't an advertisement for Spider. Um, there's lots of other mon um, calibration tools, but I just think that it's it's a it's a very low price uh, tool to have. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. Now uh, go out and uh, get a tool to get that monitor calibrated if you haven't already, and uh, get those pictures looking fabulous. Yeah, like I said, hopefully this was helpful, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.